Could Cook County Board President Todd Stroger be changing his mind about the sales tax veto? Well, joining us live from Springfield is political analyst Tom Serafin. Thanks for joining us this morning. Sure. Good morning. Are those Dan. real books behind you, first of all? <laughs> yes, they well read all night reading. Okay, read. good. Just want to make sure that you read up. So, so Tom, <laughs> Springfield. is the political tide changing right now? What the heck's going on? Well, you, 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 what you're seeing is Todd Strozier. He's got one of the most important offices in the state of Illinois, the president of the Cook County Board. He's in a position to do a lot of things in that spot, but unfortunately, everybody else wants that spot, and he hasn't been an effective messenger. Uh, he's out of his league right now. He needs somebody to speak up for him. But there's problems with the hospitals, problems with health care, problems with the poor. He needs third-party allies into this. He's no longer an effective messenger. He could take a good cue from what Mayor Daly has done. He's got great people working around him, done a lot of hard work at City Hall, but also has raised taxes and raised fees everywhere else. Tom. But he's able, he's able to survive because he's got those third-party allies. Okay, Tom. So we're talking specifically, though, about John Daly. You mentioned Mayor Daly. John yeah. Daly voted against him. Used to be one of his biggest allies. Well, you know, yeah. If you sniff in the wind, uh, the people are upset. Everybody's talking about raising taxes in a time of recession. When you don't have money, people are looking and holding on to what they have. And all of a sudden, government wants more of it. Uh, and government has, provide, has to provide more services and more help, and they aren't doing that right now. So, you know, you're, you, it, it, which comes first, the chicken or the egg? John Daly knows what politics is all about. He's been a survivor for a long time, very well liked at the county board, one of the best liked dailies in the business. So, I mean, if he's shifting, then the world is shifting on Todd Strozier right now. And, and Todd, you know, is going to have a very hard time to re-election. Even if he has a, an opportunity to re-election, it, it's going to be a very tough shot for him. Yeah, and uh, so now this could end the line of kind of handing it over to family members, so to speak. How is this going to change Illinois politics, just in general? Well, you know, you've got, you know, people are talking about it. Danny Davis gets into it, the congressman. Uh, he's an older gentleman. He won't be around for a long time if he does take that spot. But he has to take it with Todd Strozier's assistance and, and, his, and help. Todd's not going to allow this to be taken from him. Uh, Preckwinkle, Alderman Preckwinkle's in this race. Uh, Paul Vallis is going to run as a Republican in this race. Forrest Claypool is going to be very uh, dominant if he runs as a Democrat. He would have beaten Todd Strozier if Barack Obama had supported him in this last race. I think the president feels as though this time around he probably would unleash some of his resources behind Forrest Claypool, which would make him a preeminent choice of the Democratic primary. So, yes, it might stop that succession of politicians and local aldermen and their sons and daughters uh, getting elected. But at the same time, I think, uh, I, I, I think this is going to go down to the stretch. You know, you cannot walk away from the African-American voters in the city of Chicago. Todd Strozier represents African-American votes. Uh, we don't have an African-American right now running for governor. Maybe Reverend Meeks, Senator Meeks might take that mantle up. Uh, you can't walk away from the African-American vote. That's very important. So if you turn on Todd Strozier, you have to turn your support somewhere else. So the, uh, the Caucasians, the Irish, the Polish, the Italians are going to have to be very careful in how they deal with Todd Strozier. All right, Tom Serafin uh, live with all his books down in Springfield. We appreciate you joining us. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Back when they had encyclopedias, right? <laughs> you got it. Right. Old school. Back when right. it was called encyclopedia, not Wikipedia. Right. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs>